update from the uh, that other video. Um, the Maytag finally just died on us. So uh, we're going to uh, we're going to open it up uh, from the, the front side, and we're going to find out if the transmission is giving us crap or if it's the belt. Because I actually did find out that this thing does have a belt, so it's it's, it's a belt drive washer. It's pretty nice to know. So uh, have the flashlight. That's the pump, and uh, I don't know what that is. So we're going to take this side off real fast and try to look at. <sighs> so <clears throat> bad news. My dad did some research. Well, I mean, before we actually get into that, uh, we uh, we checked the belt. We had to flip the washer on its side, and I uh, checked it, and the belt was completely normal. And all that stuff. So, my dad did some research here and there, and he determined that it was the transmission that was making that awful mower sound. Uh, like it just sounded like a, a a muffler from a mower or something like that. And yeah, he looked at new transmissions, and he um, and they're pretty expensive. And he also looked at repairing this transmission and he said it's also very expensive there's one video he watched um, where the guy said it just um, fixing the thing was even was uh, about the ex as as expensive as buying a new machine all in general all, all together so yeah my dad said that we uh, we're just going to have to, to, to just buy a new one so that makes me a little worried because uh, if we buy an HE washer that means that we're going to uh, uh, we're not going to get a, a long-lasting washer, and we'll probably have to buy some over and over and over again. We're not going to get rid of it. We're um, going to keep it somewhere. Maybe the garage, I don't know. Uh, we're just going to keep it because because it's like, a, it's like a pretty nice washer. And I don't want to get rid of it either. So, yeah, I uh, probably should have made more full-cycle videos of it by... Uh, um, I got too caught up in other things. So, we're going to be looking for washers with agitators. Don't know if, it's, if we're going to get a Maytag or a Whirlpool. My dad did, uh, did say something about Sansom, which, oh my god, I hope, I hope we don't get a Sansom. You know, after what happened to my grandma's Sansom washer, I don't really trust them. Literally, uh, like, it, it started leaking all over the floor, like, two weeks and the repairman said they uh, they uh, need a new one or just repair it for the same amount of money as buying a new washer. And Sansoms are more on the expensive side. So yeah. It sucks to know that we're now going to be another one of those people who actually own an HE washer instead of one of the original good washers like this one. And I also found out this is actually 18 years old because this is actually 2004 not 2003. Early 2004. So yeah, there's that. We're going to go to Lowe's and and go washer searching.